How's it going guys? It's autotips.ca coming to you with another issue that we found. We're working on these 2016 Honda CRV. Today we're looking at TDC trouble code P087 definition fuel pressure low. So for that you have few scenarios. It took us a long time to figure it out. So we're just sharing our knowledge so it'll be easier for somebody else to diagnose it. So what we have here is you got a low pressure and the car literally, um, it doesn't drive properly as if you have your brakes on, it has no power. So there's a low pressure on the fuel. So you got few scenarios. You got a, a, a pump that works off your cams here, the camshaft. So if you have a low oil pressure, sometimes it can give you a problem. Or if you have a, a, a dirty fuel filter, I mean, uh, that could be a problem. Or if you have, it's got a two fuel tank, two fuel pumps on this car. There's one inside the tank and there's one over here. This is the one that's called a high fuel pressure um, pump. And then you got uh, the fuel pressure regulator. That's another issue that could be. And then you can have a problem with your oil and then the cam might be damaged. And that's like, because pretty much it works the same like an oil pump that would do. Uh, it builds up pressure through the movement of the cam. So I wanna share a little bit what we found out, what helped us to narrow, to narrow the diagnostics uh, on today's scanner. So I have the fuel scanner hooked up here. So let me go back. Uh, to the code real quick. So the code that we have is, uh, this is the code that we have, which is P0087, which is fuel rail pressure too low. So when you're tackling that, the reason we have all this mass airflow sensor and all these codes is because I have the filter off and everything is in that. That's why we have but the main code that the car has was this. So the symptoms that you get with this is a long crank, like the car will be cranking for a long time as if you have a problem with the, uh, a mass inflow sensor or a vacuum leak. So uh, to tackle the situation uh, a little bit better, so we went to live data. Not everybody has a live data, but in case um, you wanna access your live data, you look at what we're able to do with this scanner is to try to do an active test. So when you go down to uh, the fuel pressure itself, this is one of the fuel pressure readings. So when you start it, you look at this pressure, you see it's at, now because we changed it, it's almost 7,000, 8,000. So those, those are the readings. You get this for me? Yeah, so it was reading about 250 PSI. So what we found out with this thing is, after tackling, because it's got two pumps, like I was saying, there is one tank, fuel pump on this side. There's one fuel pump in the, under the seat here. So that's possible. Uh, Another possibility was like this high pressure pump. And the other possibility was a plug, a plug uh, fuel filter or low oil pressure. Uh, another thing which can cause your camshaft to have an issue. But the problem that we found out was this was the main issue. Like I told you, when you look at your live data, you're gonna have uh, a low pressure. So low pressure is anything under 3,500 kilopascals. Um, we were only having 250 PSI. So if, when you look at your high pressure uh, reading on your live data, you should get at least, um, the specs is almost like 6,700 kilopascals. So I would look into that. You have to convert that to PSI in the country where you're in. So in order to take that, you got two bolts. 
and then you have one line that hooks up and then you got a that connection for your fuel pressure the reason you have other codes is because we have this disconnected this is the cover that covers it up so you gotta move your cover up and review the checks we just thought this could help somebody because it took us literally two days to figure this thing out <laughs> so we did it and we're happy the car is driving good now we're gonna put it back together so if you get p0087 low fuel rail you should definitely check the other symptoms but you might end up replacing this and it wasn't easy to find this was on the recall but i always call a recycling agent so we got it from a junkyard and it's working fantastic as just as new auto tips is always here to support the community to bring you guys fresh videos knowledgeable and to make sure you save money till the next video peace thank you very much